Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over the new multi level drop down menu widget found at MuseForYouShop.com. Uh, now, this widget is a lot of fun because you can add a really nice menu to your Adobe Muse website. Uh, so, here I have the first example. So, if I click on the menu, we can see it drops down. I can click on menu item four and keep click keep clicking into sub menus uh, so you can add an unlimited amount of menu items uh, with this menu and it just looks really ni nice and you can style all of the colors as well I'll go to menu 2 and here we can see we have more menu items menu 3 and more menu items there looks good and menu 4 looks nice and menu 5 just like that all right, and if it goes past the page, the scroll bar appears there. Uh, but you can add, you know, you might not want to go past, you know, past the bottom of the page. But if you had it up here in the upper left-hand corner, um, then you know it wouldn't go beyond the browser here. But you could have a few menu items here and just have a nice menu here. All right, looks good. So to access this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com. And then here you can click on the pop-up and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Uh, the only widget that is not in the subscription is the Muse Morph SVG Morphing widget uh, because it is powered by Greensock's Morph SVG plugin technology. So it is a standalone widget there. Um, and here we have the multi-level drop-down menu. And if you'd like to purchase individually, you can simply click Add to Cart uh, to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Um, and here are the features included in the widget. You can add an unlimited amount of menu items. You can link, link menu items to submenus. The menu is, is responsive for mobile devices, or it's just the right size, so it, it fits really well on mobile devices. Um, you can add up to 12 menu items per menu. All colors are customizable within the menu. You can change text with the Adobe Muse built-in text feature. You can change the text of the menu items. Uh, you can link to anchor points, internal pages, and external pages. You can set the scrolling speed to anchor points, and you can add scroll, e you can add scroll easing when scrolling to anchor points. And here are the widget options. Uh, you can take a look here and uh, the preview page that I just showcased in the beginning is here as well. All right, so I'll just go into Adobe Muse and show how to use the widget. Uh, so first I'll go into the library panel. Uh, if you don't see the library, pa library panel, you can go to window and click on library. Um, and here I'll type in MLDDM um, and I abbreviated it so it's easy to find within the library panel. So it's just the name of the widget abbreviated. So multi-level drop-down menu, which is MLDDM. So here I have the widget and I'll click, hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. All right, looks good there. So this first widget here with the menu button is what controls the animation. There's five different, um, different animations that you can choose for the animation in and animation out of the menu. Um, and here's the styling of the menu. And then here's the anchor point scrolling as well. So you can change the speed of the anchor point scrolling. Uh, this first menu here to the left um, this is the main menu, and then this one here is the sub menu. So here in the styling, um, we also notice this tablet and mobile option. You want to enable this if um, if you're using if you're creating a website in adaptive design and you're using it for tablet or mobile. Um, and this is for the icons. Um, and also down here, I also have some um, some references on how to use the widget. So to add the icons, go to File, then Add Files for Upload, and select the five font files in the Fonts Widget folder. So in the Widget folder, when you first download, there's a Fonts folder. So to add the icons, you go to File, Add Files for Upload, and then I'll find that folder. Okay, so here's the Widget folder, so I'll click on Fonts, and I'll select these five font files, and I'll click Open, and there I've added the icons for the menu. So if I go to the first main menu widget here, um, we see it says the number of menu items is four, and for the menu items, we have menu item one link. So if you wanted to link to an internal page, external page, or anchor point, you would type it in here. And right down here in the linking more info section, it shows you how to link each uh, each page. So internal pages is dot backslash page name dot html. So if your name your page name was about, it would be dot backslash about dot html. Uh, the home page is always dot backslash index dot html. Um, and for linking external pages, uh, it's just the URL, so HTTP, colon, backslash, backslash, and the website domain. Uh, for linking anchor points, is it's hashtag in the name of the anchor. 
Uh, so here are the menu items. And then we have this option here, which is submenu one name um, or submenu name. If you did want to link that menu item to a submenu, you would just write in the submenu name. So here I would write in uh, any, you could write in anything. So I could say, you know, submenu one. So this fourth menu item is going to link to a submenu. So here in the submenu widget, I'll open the widget and here we have submenu link name. Um, and here I'll just type in submenu one to link it to that menu item. And then I can add another 12 menu items if I want, or I can you know select from one through 12 here. So if I go to file, preview page and browser, we have the menu at menu item four links to another submenu. And if I wanted another submenu, I'd just copy this submenu widget. And then in the submenu widget before it, I'll go to menu items and let's say for menu, submenu or menu item two, I'll just say submenu two. And then in the new submenu widget, I'll just change this to submenu two for the submenu link name. Um, and it is written here in the description uh, or in this reference, it says to link a menu item to a submenu, enter in a submenu name and assign the submenu name to a new submenu widget. Enter the submenu name in the submenu link name, which is right here. Uh, yeah, in the submenu link name section of the new submenu widget and the submenu name cannot have spaces. All right, so I'll preview in the browser. So I'll click open menu item four goes to a new submenu menu item two goes to another new submenu. All right, and you can have from one through, through 12 menu items for each submenu. And then here we can style all of the uh, colors of the widget. So in my CC libraries, I'm just going to add these colors. So I'll right click add to swatches and I'll just play around with the color a little bit. So we'll make it a dark blue menu background color. Yeah, we'll leave light blue. Um, and this one will change to yellow. You can change the opacity of the of menu items. Uh, you can change the text color, the text size, um, the line height for the text, and you can change the back button text padding from the left. So if you make the, the icons larger, so let's say for the icons, I, I'll say 32 and um, you can change the icon size and icon color here as well. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it that color. Um, and I'll check this out in the browser, I'll click. We can see the button is a lot bigger, but the back overlaps here. So if we go into the styling, I can change the padding to let's say 50 pixels instead of 30. Um, and then click just like that. And we can see the back is more to the right and the back is yellow here, the back menu item. So we can have menu items like that. I can change the amount of menu items, you know, let's say eight for the uh, last me uh, sub menu. Yeah, sub menu. Um, and then I'll click and there we have eight items here. Looks good. And then if I wanted to change the text, I'll just click on this widget here, um, the styling widget and the add first, and I'll click text and I'll just select, um, let's se select this font here and we'll preview in the browser just like that. So now the font has changed for the menu. Looks good. And then if we wanted to make the text larger, we could just go into the text. We could say like 24 and we'll see how that looks. It's much bigger and it's not too bad. They're fairly close, but what I can do so that, th that there's more spacing, I can change the line height to uh, maybe 28 or we'll say 32 just to give it a bit of more spacing. And we'll do something like this and there's more spacing between the menu items. Looks good. Uh, so that's basically it for the multi-level drop-down menu widget. Um, you first uh, add the widget, and then this controls the styling um, and the animations. You can change from animation in and animation out. So you can choose between five different animations for in, which is like the forward. So you can see the animation is a bit different for forward and back. Some of them kind of zoom in or pop in. Some of them slide in left and right. Um, but you can play with it and on the um, on the page here it says animation in and out so you can see on the preview page which animations uh, does what so we can see animation 2 kind of slides left and right animation 3 kind of pops in just like that as well as the back animation 4 kind of pops in from the bottom and or just pops in as well and animation 5 kind of has a nice pop in effect as well all right, so that's how to use the widget. The main menu controls the main menu. You can select from one through 12, add the menu items. You can link to internal, external pages or anchor points, or you can add a submenu name and then link it to a submenu widget here uh, and just write the submenu name from the previous menu in the submenu link name. 
and then add another set of menu items. You can also open the link in a new page. Um, so let's say for some menu two, um, we'll just say, you know, for the first one, we'll say musefreeshop.com. I'll click open link in new page and I'll preview in the browser and we'll just go menu item four and then for the first menu item, it'll open a new page to musefreeshop.com or any uh, link that you'd like. And you can change the name um, for the menu items. Just go into the menu item and for menu item name, I'll say muse for you, just like that. And I'll preview. And here we see it says muse for you. And you can make the widget a little bit wider. It goes up to 300 pixels in width, or you can make it smaller as well. So now it's a little bit wider, or if I shrink it, I can make it a little bit smaller as well. All right but now there's not enough space. So I would want to make it wider just like that. Okay. So that is the multi-level drop-down menu widget. Uh, if you did want to add it on all pages, you could just add all of this. So I'll just cut this and paste it on the master page. And then what I would do is create a new layer and place all of these on top of the top layer so that any, any elements I add on layer one um, will stay below layer two and the menu will stay on top of all of the elements. So if I create a new page, we can see that the menu is on all pages here because it's on the master page. Um, so that's it for the multi-level drop-down menu uh, widget. You can add an unlimited amount of menu items and really have a lot of fun with the menu. And it looks great on mobile, on tablet, and on desktop. So whatever device you're on, it looks really good and the user can tap on the button, the menu pops out, and it's just a really nice menu. Um, so that's it for this video tutorial. Um, so to access this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and then here you can click on the pop-up and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Uh, the only widget that's not included in the subscription is the MuseMorph SVG Morphing widget uh, because it is powered by GreenSox Morph SVG plugin technology. Um, so it is a standalone widget there. Uh, but here's the multi-level drop-down menu widget. And if you'd like to purchase individually, you simply click add to cart. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. And there's also a community section. So if you have any questions, you can ask them here in the community section. Uh, here are the features of the widget uh, and the widget options and the preview page here as well. Here are some images of the widget options. Um, and the preview page I went over in the beginning. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.